Hello YouTube, what is going on? Piston Tech, Bernardo. We are going to be doing a coolant flush on the 300SD. When we bought it, it overheated. Thermostat was completely sealed. We should have known from the start because, I mean, it was in there. Um, the coolant is absolutely horrible. We put some coolant and some hose water in there. And if you know, if you don't put distilled water in, it will corrode, it'll rust. And winter's coming, it is October the 10th, and it's getting pretty chilly, and I just want to flush everything out. Um, I was going to change out the tank because I thought it was cracked, but it's not. It's the design. Um, the upper radiator hose looks good. The overflow hose looks good. The lower radiator hose is good as well. I'll change out the hoses sooner or later. I just wanted to do a quick um, flush before the winter time because the last thing I want is for it to freeze and cause other damage or just have rust inside. I'm going to be doing radiator cap because that one's old, thermostat because they don't have one, some antifreeze, some distilled water, um, the drain plug on these radiators is right there. So I'm going to just loosen her up, drain her in there, and then I'm going to fill her up with distilled water turn her on and flush her out as many times as I can with that because those are like 80 cents at Food Lion. And there she is. It's coming out very slow but once we empty her out we're gonna clean it up put some distilled water in it. All drained out. Put the drain plug back in. Taking the overflow off will be as simple as hose here. 10 millimeter it looks or 8. One there. One here, fill up the screwdriver there, and your lower hose, which is covered by my uh, breathers, right there. And this will come right out. Clean water now. Okay, so we have the overflow tank back in. I tried flushing it out as best as I could. Um, I'm a little worried here. Some of this is corroding off. Probably just from old age, but I don't want it to separate and then have coolant leaking out. However, I cleaned it out. Clear water was coming out. I didn't do, there's no way for me to fit a brush in here. But for the time being, it'll do way, way better than before. So. I'm going to fill her up with uh, water until none goes in, turn the car on and let it circulate, drain it back out, repeat the process over and over again. Alright, so the car's turned on, I'm letting it recirculate, it's sucking down water, I'm going to continue to add more, and then I'm going to flush. I'm also going to go to the parts store and pick up a thermostat seal and do the thermostat because they don't have one. So run it, let it get warm, recirculate, you can drive it, redrain it, refill it, drain it again. Crystal clear. So look at the jugs, how much we drained out. I did like five flushes, they're really gross. Wash the tank, and um, uh, yeah, we got the drain plug back in, so the car is empty. Now we're going to do our thermostat. So, one bolt here, one bolt there, and there's another bolt right in the back. What did they tighten this with? The other one just got RTV. Don't tighten them like a mongoloid. Like okay, so we took the bolts off. Many people take the lower radiator hose out, but that's unnecessary. No gasket, so I'm, I'm gonna get paper towels and I usually like to clean it out, but some of that stuff's kicked on, so it seems like it's clean. It's pretty clean in there. I'm not gonna go full on out because I already did the flush. And go ahead and scrape all of this old RTV off. You might get away with a scraper, but all of this stuff is no bueno for when you put your new thermostat back in. All this stuff is just gonna end up causing yeah, yeah. issues. Yeah. So we got the thermostat in, we couldn't record it, but it's as simple as popping the housing open, 
putting the gasket around the thermostat, you really can't mess it up. Make sure the spring's going towards and put some um, RTV on there. Not too much in it, which is no problem though. And uncalibrated. There we go. You should be perfectly fine. And of course, don't think just when it fills up, you're good and dandy. Oh, we overfilled it. That's fine. How do we suck some out? Just drain some out. How? Just barely a, a loosen the thing and let it drain out and then tighten it back up. Well, it is going to go down when we turn it on. Oh yeah, just leave it like that. Yeah, so it only takes a jug and a half, so yeah. I guess... If you drain it again, there you go. So now you're just gonna... All that old coolant. 